Hello! So today in this video, we're going to be explaining what sign is. I noticed sometimes there is some confusion over what it is, and this is okay because trigonometry is actually a pretty confusing topic. Okay, first, we need to draw a circle. I'm bad at drawing circles, but Hopefully you can tell that this is still a circle. <laughs> and then we can pick any angle inside of here. This point right here we can call P. So basically the sine function is how far away P is to this line right here. We can call it, we can actually construct a line down to the x-axis, called this line, and I'm going to write sine here because, yeah. By the way, um, the sine function is actually properly spelled like this, but since mathematicians are kind of lazy, they write it like this. Also, there's another function called cosine, which is basically the distance of the, between the point P and this vertical line right here. Cosine. Mathematicians write cosine as C-O-S, cos, rather than cosine, bleh, cosine. Because, again, mathematicians are kind of lazy. Anyways, there's another function called tangent, which is basically just the sine over the cosine. There's also something called secant, which is like 1 over the cosine, but that's really used. And there's also um, something called cosecant, which is... 1 over the sine, which is also rarely used. That's all for now. Bye-bye!